Hello everyone, I'm Andrew, welcoming you once again to Taekwondo Step by Step. You know, there are still people here as we're almost in the 21st century that are smoking as a way to diet. Of course, it does affect your weight. It can help you reduce your weight, but everyone knows that smoking is only a ticket to death. And it's very annoying to the people around you who don't smoke. And let's face it, it doesn't really have anything good about it. So, we need to take care of our health. Let's get right into some health now with Master Lee and a demonstration of the eighth pattern. Ooh. Hello Master Lee and welcome back. Hello everyone, I'm Lee Gyu Hyun. Now Master Lee, we've come a few days through Tegek Palchang, the eighth pattern. What is it that we're going to learn today that's new? Yes, there are several new techniques that we'll be covering. Some of them are called Pakka Palmok Momtong Kodro Pakamaki and Tubal Tangzang Apchagi and a variety of other moves that have long term. I won't confuse you with their names now. All right, we'll learn the terms as we practice the moves step by step. That's the first time. Okay guys, keep your eyes wide and your ears listening carefully and follow along as Master Lee teaches us one more time. It's time for Pumse or training ourselves with the patterns. They're especially helpful as we move our whole body for the maneuvers. All right, now I'll explain the two new moves for today. Last time, we start with the momtong bandejirigi. Then, let's make believe that an opponent will come for me from the side. You could either move back or to the front to avoid the attack. But we'll try a bolder move by doing the wes hantel maki. The key is a stance. You pivot on your right leg and spin around. Now, to do the wes hantel blocking, you wind up the left fist from your right shoulder right here. Your right hand, meanwhile, is wound up from your left elbow. Now with force, you spread your right arm. One thing to remember is that you're blocking with the inner part of your wrist. Another point is to have your shoulder in a right angle. Next, for your left arm, you slant it down along your left leg like this. If the defense was effective, the opponent's kicking leg would have dropped to the ground, right? At that moment, you grab the opponent's hair with the left hand and pull him towards you. You shouldn't drag him with only your strength. The key is to use the momentum and catch him off balance. Then you follow up with a punch on his chin, which looks like this. Up front, it looks like this. Don't forget you're dragging his head towards you with your left hand. Okay, with this one, as you can see, you do it slower and you have to breathe while you're doing it. It's a bit different to the other one, okay, but it's no problem. Not for you guys who are almost black belt. Let's continue, shall we? Yes, in Taekwondo, it's true that there are swift movements, 
But there are also slow moves that require controlling your breath and your inner force that's called ki. <laughs> Now, when you are standing facing each other like this in an utpum, you might get attacked if you are not ready to defend yourself. But practicing what we learned, you take a step forward and block the opponent's leg. Like this. The opponent's leg would drop to the ground, right? Then at this moment, you can grab his shoulder like this. And pulling him toward you, you get ready for the counterattack. You control your breath and punch his chin like this slowly drag him for you. I'll show in actual speed. It's a little bit tricky, isn't it? And I understand why. But that's no problem because when we overcome these little difficulties, then we can say, ooh, I've got good form. And that kind of thing. So put a lot of effort into it. Anyway, it's time to give you a bit of a hand now with today's point. Now it's time for free sparring. Some of you might think it's a piece of cake watching others doing the moves, but never underestimate them. It takes a lot of practice to get it right. Now when the opponent comes in quickly, you'll be attacked as you can see. The key point is not to back off carelessly, which might bring further damage to yourself. If you block the lower part of the leg, you'll get hurt in the process. What you should do is to block the thigh with your left arm, and then punching the opponent's sternum, you can do a tolyo chagi. Now let's watch it in actual speed. Everybody knows that exercising is good for your health. And let's face it, self-defense, taking care of your body, just makes good sense. It's now time for Taekwondo, real life. I'm looking for the perfect person. Aha! Let's do some more street protection, shall we? Excuse me, do you know anything about martial arts or any self-defense? No? Well, what would you do if somebody came up and grabbed you by the arm like this? You don't know? Well, we'll teach you. Master Lee. Yeah, when an opponent folds his arm around yours, free your right arm while grabbing his hand with your other hand. And then from under his elbow, you support the previous grip and simply pull toward you. Oh! Have you seen me go? Okay, now that you're confident, let's practice just once in Taekwondo. Real life. Real life. Looks pretty good to me. Yes, she did it exactly the way it should be done. Oh, excellent. Woo! And you guys can be just as good. Don't forget to join us again tomorrow because we'll have even more. Bye. You know, there is so much material available these days that tell us how bad smoking is. And yet, some people still persist. And they say that smoking, together with drinking, is called the cocktail of death. Yes, what Andrew said is true. You should all take good care of yourselves. Well, Master Lee, thank you again so much for teaching us. Sure. See you next time, everyone. Hey,